Hello everybody, it's Nim and welcome back to my channel. So today we are back with some Sims 4 and we are back with a new expansion of The Sims 4. Last week the new expansion Snowy Escape came out, so we are building with it in the new world, which I can't pronounce and I won't even try because I'll probably butcher it and I'm not good at pronouncing things, you all know that. Anyways. So um, I had in mind, I wanted to do like this traditional Japanese home and I started it and um, it sucks. I can't build traditional Japanese, Japanese homes, like I can't do it. So I went with modern Japanese, so I just Googled uh, modern Japanese home and I came across all these really um, thin, tall houses in Tokyo. And apparently they are built there because of the space. So when they have space, they build this really thin home. And I came across this cube home and I thought it was really like an awesome idea to build a home that only consisted of cubes. So that's what we're doing. We are building a modern cube Japanese home. Quite a title, but we are doing it. I did use the platforms. Um, I have to say, I imagined that I was going to be thrilled about platforms, but they're actually still quite buggy. Like, for instance, some of my furniture, um, it clips through it. And that's really weird. It, I have to like size it or like move it up with a nine key in order to be on the platform, which is kind of annoying, but you know, it is what it is. They're probably, uh, I think EA is working on a fix. Like they know about some of the issues. So they are probably gonna fix this relatively soon, hopefully, because it is really getting annoying. I also wanted to, what I find, I, I just, I can't work with platforms. I've been looking up some good, well, I've been trying to look up some good tutorials, but all the tutorials go over things that I already know and I don't really encounter all the issues that I have with them. So I'm gonna continue looking. Maybe there will be some more updated in the coming days, who knows? But for now, uh, we are just gonna have to make do with this. So we are building like a really modern home and modern is completely not my style. Like at all, I almost never build modern homes. I think on my channel, I have maybe two modern videos on there, like of a modern home and I think that's it. But I do actually quite like building modern houses, especially when they're like this weird bump out cubic style. I quite, I, I love the way it looks. It's it's really exciting to me. I don't know how, but it's just, I love it. Obviously we are gonna use uh, a lot of snowy escape, duh, but also a lot of eco lifestyle since eco lifestyle is, um, I kind of like the modern pack, if I want to call it. Like when I, whenever I think modern furniture, modern walls, modern uh, doors or windows, I think eco lifestyle. Same with the fence that we're using in the front here. Also eco lifestyle, it's just, it's what I feel about it, so. We are gonna have some quick cuts in the exterior because mostly with the platforms, it didn't go the way that I want it to be. I also cut out the entire floor plan. You will see that in a minute. Usually I leave the floor plan in my video so you guys can see how I do it. But this floor plan took me like, um, in sped up time, eight minutes to figure out. And like, it's, it's, I'm not gonna have you guys like going through there to watch me suffer for eight minutes with a floor plan. I'm not doing that. Just not gonna do it. Plus the video would be very long if I did that. This video is also quite long for my Sims 4 videos. Usually my Sims 4 videos are between the 10 and 15 minute. This one is almost 20. So yeah, it is quite long. I'm sorry, but I do quite like it. And I'm quite actually the aesthetic of this home. I never have much with modern homes, but this is a modern home that I would want to live in because I quite like it. Even though uh, floor plan wise, it may not be perfectly and it may at some points be very unlogical, but um, it is what it is. C'est la vie, that's life. You know, you can't, I can't fix everything. Plus, usually I build with a floor plan in mind. So I'm like, oh, I want three bedrooms. I want this style of home. And now I just placed cubes and I was like, yeah. I'm gonna do it the other way around. This time I'm just gonna place cubes and I'm gonna worry about the floor plan later. Just like other simmers do that I watch. They just build and then they worry about the floor plan. And today I came to the realization why I never do that because it sucks. 
I can't build like that. I have a very strict mind. I like my routines. I like knowing what I'm going to build. Knowing what the floor plan is going to look like. So this is not my style. But whatever. At least um, this home is better than my traditional Japanese home. I put a shot at that. That will be up on Wednesday. And guys, I'm just going to say this. I felt like I was building EA homes. And we all know that the EA homes, they have quite a little bit of um, trouble. When they release a new pack, we don't really like the houses. We see a lot of issues with them. And I was building that home and I was like, yep, this is a typical EA home. I know the struggle, just it, it was awful. So today I'm gonna, I don't wanna say like surprise you, but I'm gonna give you like a good house. And then on Wednesday you're gonna get my attempt of building a traditional Japanese home and I'm actually really ashamed of it, but I'm gonna share it with you guys anyways. Because I also think it was pretty funny of how I imagined that I would be really, really good at building stuff like that. And uh, basically it turns out that I don't. So let's go back to this modern home for the interior. I wanted to some, do something like black and white st style. Didn't turn out to be that. Like I turned out with these, uh, I think they're spa day, right? Yes, yeah, spa day. These wooden trims because I was like, you know what? Um, I feel like... That's quite cool. And then I just gave every room a different, um, well, color and it's it's awful. Like it really is. We're gonna change it, same with the flooring. We are going to change it because it looks ridiculous. This is the flooring we're gonna go through to, throughout the entire home and you will see me fixing that later. We are gonna have a little bit of mess with the platforms because what I, what I figured out is when you have a home on a foundation, and then you use a platform and the color of the foundation actually changes. So initially my outside foundation was black. As you see in the front and now I had to change it to white because otherwise it just didn't work correctly. I also really wanted this um, sunken area like at the front door where the people could take off their shoes because I know that's quite common in Japan. And I wanted to incorporate that, but I couldn't because then it would remove the stairs and I couldn't place the stairs back anymore. And there's probably very easy fixes for that, but you know what? Um, I just I couldn't figure it out. Also with the kitchen, I'm still not sure what I liked better. I liked the, the one that I have now or the white countertops. I'm not sure, still not sure, whatever. Oh yeah, this home is obviously on the gallery. Um, there will be a link down below with my gallery ID. You can find it there. I think this home came at around 86,000 simoleons, if I remember correctly. Yeah, 86,000 simoleons. Um, quite expensive. I know, I'm sorry. But there is a lot of clutter items in here. Um, no mods, no CC, because I don't use that in my builds. I do have mods, obviously, in gameplay. And I do have the better... Uh, build by catalog, but I think it is kind of bugged because it keeps telling me that objects can't intersect and when I remove the mod out of my game it doesn't say that, so that's probably it. Remember to have move objects on before you place the lot because I accidentally, I was building this one, I've, I was like, you know what, I want this lot to be in my save game as well because I quite like it, so I placed it in my save game, didn't have BB uh, dot move objects on and then half of the furniture disappeared and I could furnish it again which is not very nice but I did it so perhaps the screenshots look a little bit different than I, we are building in this video but you guys know what it is and what happened I'm just not the best with technology we can all agree on that it's fine like we can't be good at everything and I actually to be honest I think I'm actually not the worst with technology but I'm not really good as well so I do have this brilliant idea of like for some uh, Japanese homes that I want to build. I'm not going to spoil it because I don't want anyone to steal my idea, even though I'm not like this great fancy YouTuber. I still believe that people are stealing ideas because once, one time I uploaded this video or I mentioned that was I was building an underwater home and then suddenly the next week on YouTube, every YouTuber like uploaded an underwater home. I was like, well, okay, I'm not doing it now. So I had, had to wait for that. So... That was kind of annoying. So I'm not going to say what I have in mind, but if I manage to do that, um, it would be totally awesome. But I'm afraid it, it won't like 
only when there's a platform fix, because then it will be able. Uh, right now, I don't think I can yet. But it's gonna be amazing, so stay tuned for that. So here we are doing the living area, and this home doesn't really have a regular place for dining area. And initially, I wanted this room to be like the living room, the sunken area, but then I realized there that I also needed stairs. So, yep. We couldn't have the dining uh, room like on the, on the higher platform, so it needs to be in the lower platform as well. And that just means that your actual living room is smaller. So that also me uh, meant that we couldn't place a fireplace in here. And I love the new fireplaces, just let me tell you that. The overall snowy uh, escape though, I love it. I love the build objects, they're amazing. Obviously, uh, I don't know anything about the gameplay wise because I don't actually play the game. But the build objects, oh wow, I love it. I love the fully Japanese uh, style. I love I love Japan. Just in case you guys um, didn't get that clear, I'm I'm absolutely in love with Japan. I would so so much want to go there. Like that's like one of my dreams to go to Japan. Didn't happen, unfortunately. Could still happen. If anyone wants to go with me to to Japan, hit me up. I'm I'm, I'm ready after the pandemic of pandemic of course because uh, right now you can't travel or at least maybe you can but I can't because my country is banned from every country because we have so many infections anyways let's not talk about real life stuff real life stuff uh, is not something to talk about on this channel this channel we are just going for immersion in games and escaping the real life so we had this open space under the stairs and I didn't really know what to place there. And then I was like, you know what? I'm gonna place two counters there just to make it look like they have extra storage. So, and I actually think it worked quite well. I do have that in my, in, well, my, one of my friends has that in her home, just like this open staircase. And underneath are just some um, like cabinets for storage. And I actually really like it. Uh, and I dropped something again. I'm sorry if you could hear that. And I absolutely love that. So what we were doing here, um, I thought with the shower, I wanted to build like this sunken shower because um, I have that in my shower. I hate it when you shower uh, like somewhere else and the shower is on the same level as, as the floor so the water goes everywhere. I don't like that because then the entire bathroom gets wet. So what I have in my shower, it is like uh, lower than the rest of the bathroom. So the water like stays there and just goes directly into the drain. Absolutely love it. Just love, love, love it. So here we are um, battling with the first floor. Or technically, I think it's the second floor. Like in, in Dutch, you would name this the first floor, but I think in English, this would be the second floor. I think, I hope, otherwise I'm, I hope I did that correctly. Otherwise it would be very confusing for you guys. So here we are building a uh, bedroom, obviously. I didn't really have anything in mind for this bedroom, I just wanted it to be functional and relatively cute. So we are going to use, I believe we used a new bed from Snowy Escape, yes. And you can see that it's uh, clipping a little bit in the wall because there's a platform behind the wall that is quite a, big hi a bit higher. So it is bugging out a little bit, but you know what, um, it is what it is. I also really like this, what, these posters, there's a lot of anime stuff, I'm, I'm quite into anime and manga, so you know that's all cool for me I, I would love to have like even more maybe there are more objects that i didn't actually see but i would love it to be like this entire uh sweep aspiration <laughs> that would be like awesome but i don't i don't think the sims has that also can you hear that motorcycle that is so loud what the heck luckily from uh i believe this was city living we have a lot of Japanese, well, a lot. We have some Japanese uh, stuff as well. So it's like the, the koi carper fish. I believe it's called that in English as well. I believe, I'm not quite sure. And here we are just fixing up the rest of this bedroom, giving it a record player, which I absolutely love. I have one myself. I love playing records. Sometimes I feel like I was born in the wrong era. I was like, you know what? I should have been born in the 70s because I'm completely retro. I have like a uh, retro style clothing wise, uh, glasses wise, music style wise, I would totally rock the 70s as a hippie, just letting you guys know that I would totally rock that. Here we are doing the second bedroom and this was actually quite a small bedroom, 
So initially I wanted to do a bedroom here and I was like, eh, you know what? I think I'm actually just going to make a toddler's room here. Also, I am well aware that you have like a lot of balconies in this um, home. None of them have railings, so do be careful uh, when going out there. Don't fall off your house. I tried putting a railing on there, but it looked so ugly. I was like, yeah, you know what? These people are just um, living the dangerous life and that's all there is to it. All there is to it. Also, my game crashed at this point, so I finished the entire home and then my game crashed, so I had to redo it. So um, I knew what furniture was where and I could just very easily replace it. Otherwise, this video probably should have, well, could have been a bit longer or would have been a bit longer, I should say. I also, I can't help it, but whenever I build a nursery, I also, I always build a nursery for a, like a, a girl. Never a boy, because I just don't think The Sims 4 has like enough items for that. Or again, I just don't know where to find them, but I always find these really cute pink items, never like really badass green or blue items. Again, it's probably just me, but I see a lot of Simmers like uh, building girl rooms and everything like that. Maybe it also has something to do with the fact that I don't actually know what men or boys like. Except uh, Ninja Turtles and... What was it? Um, something with Go. Not Pokemon Go, but something else. And Paw Patrol as well. Boys like Paw Patrol. Obviously we don't have that in The Sims, but you know. And here we are actually tackling the, well, third floor. So where the master bedroom w is going to be. There are quite a lot of windows and wall, uh, walls, obviously. Windows and doors here. It affects like two major doors to one of the balconies. And then yeah, I believe you have like four windows. And they're not small windows. Oh, three windows, whatever. So man maintaining this space and handling it efficiently was actually quite a bit of a challenge. Especially with the platform in the middle of the room. I mean, I wanted that platform there, just so you have like a natural step to the door, otherwise it would be very unnatural, at least in my opinion. And I actually think that it worked out quite well, I actually quite like the way that it turned out. It is very contemporary and empty, but I do think like you, as someone that would download this home, it's, it's very easy to just adjust and add the things that would be personal for your sims and would totally show that your sim is living here. So right now we are at the last, I believe like last 30 seconds before we end this video. So I just want to take this t time to thank you guys for watching this video. And if you haven't already, make sure you like, comment and subscribe. It really helps me out, helps my channel out. It helps my videos go up in the YouTube algorithm, which is actually quite nice because, you know, then people are gonna see my videos. So if you really, really, really like this and you want to, feel free to share this video with everyone you know and we can build an awesome community together. So guys, I hope to see you again on the next video on Wednesday and I will leave you with the screenshots. Bye guys!